there appeared a great wonder in heaven, and woman clothed with the sun, and a woman under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she being one child who cried, she fell under birth, and it pained to be delivered. And, and there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon had heaven seven heads, ten, ten horns, seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of the heavens. And they cast him down to the earth, and the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered. For she devoured her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And the child was called up unto God, and she has thrown. And the woman fled into the wilderness where she had their place prepared of God. That they should feed her there a thousand two hundred three score days. And there was a war in heaven, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought against his angels and prevailed none. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, and that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying, In heaven, now is to come salvation, the strength, and the kingdom of our God, and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accuses them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of the testimony. They loved not their lives unto the death. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth he had but a short time. And when the dragon saw that he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child, and to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness into her place and when she is nourished for a time and time and half and half time from the base of the serpent and the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood and the earth helped the woman and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth and the dragon was brought with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which kept the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ.